Okay, let's look at the Math 1033 final exam review. I'd like to go ahead and take you through the solutions for problems 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to put those pretty much on the same video because they all deal with the concept of laws of exponents. So come with me down to the paper. And here we are. Almost. Okay. Here's our first question. We're taking, uh, we're taking the number 3 fifths and we're raising it to the negative second power. Now realize that this negative 2 exponent goes with the 3. So 3 is to the negative second power. And the number negative 2 also goes with the 5. So in the denominator, 5 is to the negative second power. Now, what I teach my students, negative exponents take reciprocals. And remember to take the reciprocal of something, you switch numerator and denominator. So the easiest way to do this problem, 3 to the negative second power on the top drops down to the denominator as 3 to the positive second power. 5 to the negative second power in the denominator moves up to the numerator as 5 to the positive second power. And then when you actually square those out, the numerator becomes 25. The denominator becomes 9, and that's how we get our answer 25 over 9. Okay, the second question, let's look at it. Let's find the right one here. Move my paper up a little bit. Here we go. I have 2x to the third, y to the negative fourth, raised to the fifth power. Now, this 5 affects everything inside here. So, arithmetic wise, the beginning, 2 raised to the fifth power is ultimately going to become 32, but we'll do that in a minute. So 2 to the fifth becomes 2 to the fifth. When I have a variable to a power and there's another power on the outside, I leave the variable base the same and I multiply the powers. 3 times 5 is going to give me 15. I do the same with the y. I leave the y the same. Negative 2 times, I mean, rather, negative 4 times 5 is going to give me a negative 20. Now, to finish this problem and to get your final answer, what we're going to see is this. All right, come with me to the paper. 2 to the 5th is actually 32. x to the 15th. And what happens is y to the negative 20th is going to drop down. We're taking the reciprocal of it. It will drop down to the denominator and become y to the positive 20th power. So my final answer is 32x to the 15th divided by y to the 20th. And we're done. All right, question number three. I have AB to the 5th divided by A to the negative 4th, B to the 7th. Now, laws of exponents tell us when you're dividing, exponents get subtracted. You leave the base the same, so I'm going to leave the A the same. The top exponent is a 1, the bottom is a negative 4. Watch what happens. 1 minus a negative 4 is what the new exponent on the a is going to be. And while we're subtracting, let's do it for the b. We would have b raised to the 5 minus 7 power. Now be careful with the arithmetic. This is a to the minus a negative becomes a plus. 1 plus 4 is 5. We have b to the 5 minus 7 is negative 2. And of course, to finish, to get my answer in simplest form, because you're never supposed to leave a negative exponent in a problem, a to the fifth stays in the numerator, but in the denominator we will see b to the second. And we're finished.